Welcome to the West Cascades and to Whitey's living room. This is where I've been coming for almost 40 years now, at least one day a week for my, what I call my peace and quiet day. And over those 40 years, I've learned a lot about this forest. I understand it far better than I understood it when I first began to visit it. And I appreciate it so much more now that I understand it so much better. That's the overarching objective of Trees Across Oregon, is to help you better understand and better appreciate your surroundings, especially the trees that surround you. Whether you're in a forest environment like this, that's dominated or is almost exclusively native trees, or whether we're in what we call an urban forest, where we plant in our communities, where most of the trees we plant are non-native trees, that is, they come from other parts of the world. So what do you know about these forests? Do you know what these trees are? Right here I see Douglas fir, that's a state tree of Oregon. Pseudotsuga menzizi. I see big leaf maple, Acer macrophyllum, I see western hemlock, I see western red cedar, and that's about it for this particular stand here. Um, how about this green stuff on the trees? Does that hurt the trees? What is that? Why does it grow there? Why doesn't it grow on trees like this back in the Midwest or back east? How about trees that have died and fallen to the ground? What happens to them then? Should we pick this stuff up and burn it? What role does it play in the forest? How about this over here? What are these holes in the bark of this tree that's fallen? Who made them? Why? Does it hurt the tree? What's the history of this forest? How old are these trees? Who planted them? Where did they come from? What animals live here? Does the, did the forest look like this a hundred years ago? Will it look like this a hundred years from now? And who owns this land? Is this private land or is it public land? And what difference does it make? Are there rules for how we take care of forests or trees that are on public land? Are there rules for how we care for trees on private land? Are they different? If they are, why? These are just some of the questions that hopefully over the next 10 weeks I'll help answer for you. And of course, there'll be many, many more questions that will be answered <laughs> over the course of this term. So welcome to Trees Across Oregon. I hope you enjoy taking this class as much as I enjoy teaching the class.